Sup y'all, it's me, Mark. So I've promised you guys a new video every month, and for those of you paying attention, yes, it is the last day of the month. But before you start hating, you should know I've been in New York cross training at night. So as you guys know, the general goal of my videos is to showcase some cool new idea or concept that's totally original and you won't find anywhere else on YouTube. So this month is a little different in that I didn't come up with this idea, but I looked all over the web and I could not find any half decent instructions on how to pull this off. So I'm gonna show you what I learned and how I did it. So last week I went with my brother and my dad to Houston for this Halloween trade show to showcase digital duds to some buyers. And uh, we didn't want people touching the uh, the shirts or the iPod touches inside of them, so we made sort of these shadow boxes, sort of like a jewelry display case, but much cooler, uh, because we edge lit it with some LEDs, and uh, it looked really sharp. You can make essentially one of these for under 100 bucks. So here are some of the details on how to do it. So step one, you are going to need a really cool older brother like I've got. Uh, his name is Brian, and he can pretty much build anything out of wood. In fact, if you gave him a sweet beard and some awesome hair, he is pretty much indistinguishable from Bob Vila. Although, when I made that graphic, I realized if you pretty much give anyone a sweet beard and some awesome hair, they are indistinguishable from Bob Vila. But I digress. The point is, the dude can freaking build anything. So I gave him a call and kind of explained to him the concept. We brainstormed for a little bit and then he went to town. So here are the uh, four tables kind of built up. The next step was he painted them. And then here's the real key. We found on Amazon these LED strips. They're like 17 feet long and they come with a remote controller. You can change the color. So you use double stick tape, put them on one side of the box and you get these for like 30 bucks. The link to where to get them is in the description. So right here we are cycling through the different colors with the remote control. So the next step is you need to etch something onto the acrylic top or you could use glass so it'll come with a protective covering and we stenciled out and cut out of the protective covering the logo in reverse because it's on the underside and then you could use light sandpaper or really it works best if you have a little mini sandblaster like this uh, links in the description you get them for 40 bucks uh, so this is using a glass tube but the concepts the same so now the logo when you peel off the protective covering is etched in the underside of the table and the other thing you want to do is use some sandpaper to rough up the edges of the acrylic because it's those rough edges that the light catches and then it makes it shine. And that's basically what I'm showing here. It's a cross section, so that's the LED on the table. The acrylic top comes down and again, now the light hits it and any surface that's sort of rough, the light refracts off it and then it lights up. And here's in real life how it actually looks. So it's really cool. It's just a dumb glass top till the light comes right on the edge and then it really makes it pop. So if you want some extra credit, you can actually take the extra length of the LED, because it's 17 feet long, and put it on the underside of the table all around. And then this is about what it'll look like, and then you're just an absolute champion. So there you have it. Thank you for subscribing and for watching every month. And if you've liked most of the videos I've done so far, the next four or five videos are gonna be pretty awesome. Just saying.